Good morning, this is Steve O'Hare from Signal Centre and today is Wednesday the 30th of June 2021 and today we're going to run through the commodities, we're going to take a look at crude oil, also natural gas and I may even take a look at um, precious metals as well. So um, crude oil sentiment remains steady, uh, there were concerns surrounding the risk that coronavirus developments would hamper global demand and uh, markets are also expecting uh, OPEC will announce higher output quotas at Thursday's meeting, but expected underlying restraint would continue. Uh, WTI crude oil uh, pushed towards um, session highs, getting up to 73.50. Uh, the API data recorded an inventory draw of 8.2 million barrels, uh, and we've got oil inventories later on today. So let's dive into it. Um, on the weekly chart, uh, we'll start from there, drill down to shorter term time frames. We still feel like we're in the fifth and final wave of this impulsive move higher from the $10 low on this chart from April last year. Uh, uh, resistance comes in at 76.80. We managed to uh, get up to 74.11 uh, yesterday. Uh, but um, sorry, uh, yeah, that was yesterday. Um, but the weekly candle is forming a bit of a negative um, candle, uh, hanging man candle at the moment. So have to be a little bit wary of that. Drilling down into uh, the daily chart, it looks a little bit messy, but we're within, within this resistance range between 72.84 and 73.64. And this seems to be capping price action at the moment. Also, the MACD has uh, crossed over. So that's a negative uh, indication. And we are seeing uh, bearish divergence. So that, again, negative. This rally higher has been quite extreme and uh, quite formidable. So there has to be some sort of um, short-term reversal correction in in um, in the coming days or weeks, uh, but it just seems to push higher and higher, so uh, not really evident yet. On the four-hour chart, we've got um, so the 74.02 high was taken out with a 74.11, so we're forming a bit of a double top formation. A close below 72.09 would confirm this, and for me, that would uh, lead to a slightly deeper uh, correction in price action, that would also mean we'd break the four edge, we could cloud. On the Brent crude side of things, similar sort of formations on the long-term charts, we managed to get up to a high of um, 75.66, and we're seeing a, a 70, a 73.20, we reacted from uh, yesterday, and uh, that's topped out at overnight at 74.88, and we've seen price action um, struggles since then. We're, we're really competing with this Ichimoku cloud support and we can see this uh, congestion previously also coming in uh, this uh, at this previous support level 73.80. So really a break of 73.20 should open up a move to 71.46 and really need to recapture the, the highs pretty quickly if we're, this uh, move is going to continue into the end of the week. On the net gas side of things, we were looking at the daily chart, and this really has played out really nicely. Um, we have hit a high at 380. Uh, the real triangle formation, which we noted a break of, uh, we had a swing back to retest. And since then, we've produced uh, seven positive days of price action. And that still looks good today. $3.70, we're trading $3.80. Uh, still more upside, but again, looks a little bit extended, overbought conditions at the moment, but plenty of room on the upside. No reason for that not to continue. Um, a quick look at gold. This is uh, forming some interesting, it's at an interesting level. 17.55 for me is quite a, a serious uh, support level. We managed to get down below it yesterday, but weren't didn't manage to hold below it. Um, we're forming a bearish flag. I think a break of this 1750 now would open up a move towards 1676. So um, I hope you've enjoyed that uh, technical analysis rundown. Look forward to seeing you next week.